This test is insulation resistance. It, again, it's a dead test. Safe isolation should be carried out. The way we're gonna show you this, we're gonna do it at the tails anyway. So that means if the tails are removed, there's no juice supplied into the board. This is a test rig. So I'm gonna do a test first to show a healthy insulation resistance reading of greater than 999 or greater than 200 mega ohms. And then I'm gonna press a button which will simulate a fault. Again, it's a two lead test. I'm gonna use crocodile leads to make it easier. Uh, don't forget, we're gonna apply 500 volts DC and the regs state that we should have a minimum value of greater than one mega ohm. I'm gonna press the button. The dial goes over and shows me greater than 999 mega ohm. Then I do the test between line to earth. Again, I'm looking for greater than 999 meg. And then I do it between neutral to earth. Greater than 999 meg. Now, just to show you what it would look like if there were a fault, if I simulate a fault between line and earth and press the button, that shows me that the line and earth, somewhere in one of the circuits coming out of this board, are touching each other, 0.00. .00. Just to switch that back off for a second and give you an idea of what different readings you can get. Different test instruments, same test. I'm gonna go between the neutral to line conductor and I'm gonna press the, first of all, put it on 500 volts. Neutral to line conductor, press the test button and it says greater than 200 mega ohm. So this instrument, a dialog, says greater than 200, and the mega says greater than 999. But don't forget the reg state that it's gotta be greater than one meg. Any readings less than two meg should be further investigated.